Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to my channel. If you are an existing beauty, welcome back. And if you are a new beauty, hey girl, welcome. My channel is about beauty, luxury, lifestyle, and fashion. If those are subjects that you are interested in, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So first things first, there's going to be noise in the background, right? I live in Florida and my air conditioner is always running. There is no way I can make this video without it, right? If I tried to film this video without um, my air conditioner, <laughs> I would be pouring in sweat. My makeup would turn to mud. It just would not be pretty. So you can expect to hear my air conditioner running throughout this video and I do not live alone I have a household full of people a full robust household so you may hear people walking around or my kids they may even yell or something girl I don't know but expect to hear noise throughout this video so the reason for this video is I wanted to share with you guys some of the items that I have been purchasing for this fall how I work seasonally it's every season I go and kind of buy items to add to my existing collections right so I may buy a few pieces to add to my wardrobe collection a few pieces to add to my seasonal decor um, a fragrance and we'll talk about that in a minute you know it might be some makeup items or even um, beauty you know beauty skincare items that I feel like um, would be perfect for the fall season so that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys this the things that I've purchased here and there to kind of freshen up my existing fall collection so if you'd like to see this fall refresher haul stay tuned okay so first things first I want to share with you guys some of these things I might have already shared I don't know um, but first things first is I'm going to share with you guys something I know that I've shared already and that's this fragrance right so I have my signature fragrances or my staple fragrances should I say these are the fragrances that stay in my collection and I usually try to have one for every season right and staples means um, I'm not a person that has a whole bunch of fragrances in my collection right I usually have one per season and then the signature fragrance that I wear kind of year-round um, you know when I'm just doing my regular everyday life routine work um or errands or just hanging out around the house you know nothing special but then i have my um fragrances my staple fragrances that i like to bring out whenever i feel like i need to make a good a really good impression right so for special occasions and that kind of thing so for years i have been looking for both a spring and a uh, fall fragrance right so some of the staples that's in my collection it's always going to be in my collection is um mark jacobs daisy for the summer um versace's yellow diamond for diamonds for the winter and believe it or not j-lo's glow for is my signature fragrance i have worn that fragrance for years i mean since it came out it has always been in my collection but I always struggled with finding something for the spring and for the fall well this year I found something for both for the spring it is Burberry my blush I absolutely love it um, it is now a staple in my collection and for the fall I am wearing um, Giorgio Armani's Sea Passion right um, it's a really warm fruity scent I absolutely love it um, now if it'll become a staple in my collection or not is yet to be seen what I like about fragrances is it has not only to smell really good but it has to be long wearing right so um, I'm not real sure about the long wearing part I know that it has did what I've needed it to do so far which is lasted while I was wearing it and doing whatever it was that I was doing but 
like for my other fragrances I can go to whatever clothing item that um, I wore the day that I wore it sometimes weeks later and still smell the fragrance and that is what I require when it comes to fragrances is it long wearing that's yet to be seen but I'm not gonna lie y'all it smells so incredibly good it smells like fall if I had to say anything that it really smelled like it would probably be a warm fruity apple pie yeah so this is part of my fall refresher so next we're going to talk about fall decor right it's no secret I decorate for every single season um, I have several different things that I decorate for during the fall season so my initial de decor is for um, just fall in general I have pumpkins out and scarecrows and I have like um, um, you know different things out that just pretty much represents fall not Halloween not Thanksgiving but fall and then I have my Halloween decorations that I usually introduce when we're getting close to October so I do the fall decor in September and then usually bring out my Halloween decor when we're getting close to um, October and that's the spooky creepy stuff and then I decorate for Thanksgiving which means I take away all of the Halloween stuff leave out the regular fall stuff and then add to it for Thanksgiving I know it's a lot but I love it so um, for this season and every season I always add a couple of pieces to refresh it um, I'm, the first piece I'm gonna pop an image of here um, it is a faceless kind of ghoul it's what it's described as I purchased it from world market I purchased my first one last year my first two last year um, it's in black and gold um, I don't know what happened to one of them so this year I need I had to go out and purchase another one this year they didn't have the black and gold ones but they did have them in black and silver so I posted that so I purchased that that was kind of a default um, refresher um, item because I don't know absolutely have no idea what happened to the one that I purchased last year but um, nonetheless I went and repurchased that one again this year for my whole fall display and I'll try to pop in a picture of my fall display in here somewhere my Halloween display in here somewhere now I do decorate for Halloween throughout the house but I have a very specific display area where I do these really elaborate displays for every season so the next items I purchase is more for the kitchen um, this is a um, for the stove I kind of sit this in the middle of the stove the pumpkins I got from the Dollar Tree girl the Dollar Tree one dollar and twenty five cents each and they have a whole bunch of different varieties of them very very beautiful and the and the pumpkin plate which is this I don't know if it has anything on it because it has been sitting on my stove I got this from world market I also got the faceless ghoul from world market I don't know if I said that I get a lot you can find a lot of nice and unique items in world market and they are not super expensive either so I got this from world market too um, it was seven dollars and ninety nine cents I purchased it yesterday and like I said each one of these pumpkins was one dollar and twenty five cents I have the flat top stove so I just sit this in the middle of the stove as part of my fall and Halloween decor so this is something that will stay out until Black Friday so yeah the next item I got are um, Halloween specific so I got this at the family dollar I do hang this up in my kitchen it's you know a broomstick believe it or not it's really good quality and it was only five dollars I purchased this kind of a month or so back knowing that um, Halloween and the fall was coming up if you don't know the interior of my home is decorated in a witch theme so this was perfect for where I needed to put it at and perfectly on theme and then next I buy a lot of these throughout the seasons and they are um, kitchen towels um, I have a lot of these 
I purchased a lot of these intentionally because we actually use these um, throughout the season and I purchased these seasonally um, and I got these from Bell's Outlet. I don't know if you have a Bell's Outlet or a Bell's Department Store in your um, where you are but the outlet stores is perfect for these little seasonal items or seasonal items such as these so yeah next we're going to move into fashion so I'll be right back okay so now we're going to move into fashion right and I'm really really excited to show you guys this first item so um, like many people every season I generally do a purge right I kind of get rid of things that I'm not going to use for various reason, reasons and then I purchase things that I may need or I, that I find is lacking in my wardrobe right um, same thing with my seasonal decor and other things right every season I do a purge and a purchase and that's to keep my house from being overflowing with things because my house is relatively small and also to prevent from being super wasteful oh I'm hot y'all it's hot these lights these lights I'm hot but we're gonna keep going so um, these I'm really excited to show you these are some Nautica loafer style flats right um, I first purchased a, pair, purchased a pair of these for my daughter for school. She's going back to school. She needed some shoes. Um, and during the, the shopping process, I stumbled on these shoes at Ross, Dress for Less, um, in her size. Of course, they did not have my size. And I was so heartbroken because I instantly fell in love with these shoes. I can see them with a nice pair of jeans. Um, a nice blazer. I can see them with a nice skirt with some knee socks. I can see them with some tights in the in the skirt. I could just see so many different um, ways to wear these shoes. Now I wouldn't wear them with slacks because to me that's a bit cliche for me. But I will absolutely be rocking these with a nice pair of jeans, right? But I couldn't find them anywhere. So after weeks of shopping around for them, I discovered that someone had one pair on Poshmark. As you can see, they are brand new. They are in a size 8. Generally, I wear a size 7.5, 7, 7.5 or 8. But for something that I wanted so badly, I just took what I can get. And they were very reasonably priced. Um, and I love them. Cannot wait to rock them with some jeans and a, a shirt, girl, or some jeans and a blazer. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So these next pair of shoes are by Sam Edelman. Um, I got these from Nordstrom Rack. They were on clearance for, I think, or sale for about $69. These are also flats. These are another pair of shoes that I was really, really excited to um, get my hands on. Um, I can see myself rocking these with jeans as well. Jeans or a long um, dress. Um, these are a really funky pair of shoes um, that... I am really excited about getting not just the style of them but the color and the material that they come in I think these are going to be great with a nice pair of wide leg pants um maybe even some wide leg trousers or um some wide leg jeans and a nice sweater or a blouse yeah and these are very versatile they can even be worn with um they can definitely be worn with a dress too um i would just prefer to wear them with a longer dress i think um the toe of these is what makes them so great of course in this strap as well with the gold button on it um that detail i just feel like these are so old world looking um, I would really rock them with something that's kind of an old world throwback type um, inspired outfit, right? So these will be great with sweaters, sweater dresses, um, jeans, 
mainly though some nice wide leg slacks would kill it yeah I love 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 these shoes so much now let's just see if I can find the outfits to wear with them and these last pair of shoes that I added to my collection this fall is by Franco Sarto they are very similar to the other pair I got these in black these I specifically purchased to wear with jeans skinny jeans and I think that they are fabulous too these can also be worn with sweaters and sweater dresses as well I would say an oversized sweater dress though maybe not the fitted ones and I really love the toe on these as well like I mentioned I purchased these to wear with jeans mainly skinny jeans um, and a nice blouse or a nice sweater um, I really really love these too and these were on sale for like $69 as well. So next we're going to move into clothing. So give me a minute. Okay, so it's no secret that I really, really love Old Navy. Especially for the stage of life that I'm in, right? So I'm currently on a weight loss journey. I'm always looking for clothing at a bargain, right? Because I don't want to purchase um, a lot of really super expensive clothes. Only to not be able to fit them again this time next year so for me old navy really works out for me really well because they have a lot of different versatile clothing they are really great quality and often at a really good affordable price right so they are always having some kind of sale i always say this i never spend more than twenty dollars for a pair of old navy jeans because if you wait long enough they will have a big sale and you'll be able to get the jeans at a really good buy old navy has really great quality jeans in fact all of my jeans come from old navy i buy them for my daughters who are in two different size ranges i buy them for my twin sisters and my and some of my other sisters whenever i can find them on sale and they are just really great jeans to have in your collection they come in all um sizes and out all styles i specifically love their skinny jeans and i specifically love their distressed jeans so um and i like their other items so you can always get a really good coat or jacket at old navy i can sometimes find really cute tops and blouses and dresses at old navy and um sweaters and cardigans so the first thing i'm going to start with are these cardigans i have some like summer dresses that i purchased from old navy that i never got to wear to wear because girl it was too hot this summer i wasn't going nowhere it was just too hot so I decided that they would be perfect to wear transitioning into the fall months and even in the fall because in here here in Florida it can be warm during the fall months. So I wanted some cardigans to go with them and I started out by getting this black cardigan. It's just a basic black cardigan from Old Navy. One of the dresses and it's like it buttons down like a basic button down cardigan it's ribbed um one of the dresses that i'm talking about is um a black spaghetti strap sundress and i think i got this for like six dollars y'all i don't remember anymore um but maybe 6.99 or something like that on clearance and it's going to pair perfectly with that sweater dress this next um, sweater I also got from Old Navy as well. As you can see, it has the faux pearl buttons. It's kind of plush, kind of giving that cashmere. So it's like faux cashmere um, sweater. It's really, really thick. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be very, very warm. Let me take it out the plastic. <laughs> um, yeah. And it's also going to be perfect to layer with a dress. I can layer this with the black sundress as well. Um, I can also just wear this with a little cami underneath with a nice pair of jeans as well. Um, so this is going to be very um, useful in my um, fall and my winter wardrobe. I could wear this with a nice pair of leggings. Like the thick yeah. kinds. Not 
underwear. Um, so yeah, I really, really am looking forward to wearing this. I could wear this with a pencil skirt. I could wear this with a short skirt, a long skirt, wide leg pants, jeans, slacks. I'm going to get a lot of use out of this sweater and this was fairly inexpensive too I want to say this was something like $16 I know it was less than $20 like I said when I'm shopping I shop at Old Navy because I'm often looking for something that's under $20 then I got these black jeans from Old Navy I want to say these are skinny jeans I'm almost sure that these are skinny jeans. Yeah, super skinny jeans. So I did get these in the 24, even though I actually wear a size 20. Um, but because they are super skinny, um, I wanted to make sure that they fit. And they're just a basic black jean. Um, they have like the little bit of distressing on the on the foot part but I got these specifically to wear to places where where distressed jeans may not be appropriate right so that's why I got these um, I plan on wearing these with loafers or flats and again I got these to wear specifically at two places that I cannot wear with distressed jeans now um, they look like they might be a little big they are very very stretch stretchy so I don't know, I might have to give these away because I'm long past the return mark. Well, I don't know. It hasn't been 30 days. It hasn't been 30 days. I don't know. But they're so cheap, might as well give them away. Um, and then I got these white distressed jeans. I have quite a few pairs of white jeans from Old Navy. But I could never find, get the distressed ones, right? And that's what these are. As you can see, they are distressed. I love distressed jeans. I'm going to always rock distressed jeans. Distressed jeans. I've always loved them. And these are, um, I got them in a size 22. So these might be too big for me, but that's okay. They're distressed jeans. And I feel like um, if I needed to, I only paid like $15 for them. I can go get them taken in. But I still might be able to rock them a little big. If I want to do like a whole grungy distressed look. But yeah. Real cute. Love a good. Yeah these. I'm definitely going to have to get these taken in. Um, because I can already see that they're, they're going to be too big. And last but not least was a really, really um, jewel of a find. And that is these wide leg pants, right? They are advertised. I got them in a 2X. And I tried these on already. That's where they're out of the packaging. They are a little big, but they're a little big in a good way. Um, they are really, really, really wide leg. Um, like yoga. They're supposed to be like yoga leggings. But y'all, do y'all see how thick this is? These are so thick. These are not leggings, honey, or yoga pants. These are regular pants, and that's how I'm going to wear them. Now, they are supposed to be like the gaucho style pants, but I'm short. I'm 5'2", and I got the regular length, so they actually fit me like wide leg pants. That's a hack or a trick if you don't know. Um, when you're purchasing wide leg pants, if you're short, then you want to go with the short inseam. If you're wanting them to look like gauchos. But if you want them to look like pants, which is what I wanted these to look like, go with the regular inseam. And they actually fit me like pants. So I'm really excited to wear these. These I'm definitely going to rock with the black sweater. I already have one that I purchased a couple of years ago. But never got to wear because I don't be going nowhere but work when I'm working in office and home. And every now and then I'll go out. So I have some black sweaters that I per a few sweaters that I purchased a couple of years ago that I never got to wear. Um not so long ago that they were they're out of style but maybe about two to three years ago that i never got to wear so i'm determined to wear them this summer this fall and that is why i purchased these wide leg pants yeah so that's everything that i purchased so far it wasn't a whole lot of stuff so hopefully this video is not going to be um too long 
but yeah um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video as well as much as I have enjoyed creating it if you did please don't forget to like subscribe and share I also plan on vlogging um, all fall and winter long um, I'm very excited about vlogmas so if you like vlogs, um, this is definitely the channel to watch. Um, I have been on YouTube for about eight years now. This is my second channel. Unfortunately, I had an unfortunate situation to happen with my first channel. Um, but I am really heavily into vlogs um, and bringing you guys along for my life's journey. So yeah, um, if you want to see a lot of these clothing in action, um, just hit that subscribe button girl nine times out of ten you will see them um if i wear them um i will hopefully by the time you see this video i've tried on all of these items and pop them in somewhere in the screen to kind of show you guys how they look on me now i don't know how i look <laughs> in those little mini clips um but the purpose is for you guys to see how they look on me. So, yeah, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode as much as I've enjoyed creating it. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, my beauties, be bold, be brave, and be beautiful. <laughs>